Hey guys, it's Lily and this is my channel. In my last video, I actually told you guys that I worked at Lush Cardiff. If you work at Lush, one of the main shops that you really, really want to visit is Lush Oxford Street. There are so many products in Oxford Street that you can't get in your local stores. So, as a member of Lush Cardiff, I decided that I needed to go and see this magical place. By the title of this video, you guys probably guessed that I'm going to show you my Lush Oxford Street haul. So, I'm just going to get straight into it. And in bag number one, we have Guardians of the Forest. It smells really earthy and really, really beautiful. It reminds me of Earl Grey tea and it's honestly so so lovely and there's so much plastic free glitter in that I feel like an actual guardian of the forest. Perks of working at Lush! Green fingers, oh my gosh. Now I'm literally covered. Another thing I got from Lush Oxford Street was pink fern. Pink fern smells absolutely amazing. It's got vanilla and tonka absolute in there and it's also got cornflower in there so it's really really great for sensitive skin and it also acts as a little bit like um talcum powder and fern you can use as like shampoo, body wash, you can play with it in the bath like play-doh, you can wash with it, you can wash your dogs with it, you can wash your clothes with it. There's nothing you can't do with fern except eat it. Please don't eat it. So fern has so many different colours and each colour has a different scent and my favourite scent is pink. Also, five pence from every purchase sold from Fun actually goes towards funding a playground in Japan after the Fukushima disaster. It's really, really lovely. It's meant to build a community back together after a disaster that happened a few years ago, so it's really, really lovely. And if you haven't already, definitely pick some up because, you know, it's fun and it helps. So, yeah. We actually got this and it's called Orange Flower Lip Tint. So orange flower lip tint is really, really lovely. It does actually smell like orange flower. So I'll just swash it on my hand so you can have a look. So it's a really, really lovely summer color. It's really, really lovely to go with all types of skin color. And also it's super, super moisturizing as well for your lips. What could be in bag number two? Ooh. This is the Cherry Blossom Bubble Bar, and it's absolutely lovely. It smells so, so incredibly sweet and floral, and I absolutely love these types of smells. It's absolutely lovely. And you can see it's got a little bit of sparkle in there. It smells exactly like a cherry blossom would, really. It's actually meant to be inspired by the Japanese cherry blossoms, so that's why it's meant to look really pretty, really authentic, and I'm getting a lot of Mulan vibes. I know Mulan's Chinese, but you know at the end when Chan, Chan? It's his name, Chan. I haven't seen it in so long, good God. So you know when Chan goes to see Mulan and they're sat underneath the tree, that's pretty much what it's meant to be inspired by. In bag number three, we have a box. It's a lip colour block and I've got shades of red because I really like dark ready colours, not that you can see by today because I've got my emo realness going on, but yeah I'm just going to hold it up. With this one you actually get to make your own colour for your lips. The lady that actually gave this to me, she actually gave me some brushes to actually try so I'm going to show you guys how to make a little bit of a colour. So I'm going to start with some red, okay it's quite orange at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to go for a little bit of black. Oh, oh, okay. A little bit too much black. A little bit too much black. I don't even think the, the makeup gurus on YouTube can even help with this mess. Because, wow. Wow. So, that's actually the colour that I made. Um, I don't know what you guys think. If you guys like it, if, you, if you're feeling it. I guess, I guess I'm feeling it. I, I guess I'd wear it. <laughs> so it is a really, really fun one to use because obviously in the shop there's no packaging and all the packaging that it came with when the lady actually put it in the box is all recyclable. So it's really, really great. It's really great to, for traveling if you don't have much space in your bag and you just want something really compact and really easy, easily 
removable really. It's something that you should use when you've got time, when you're not brushing, because obviously you do have to make some colours. I had a hard enough time just making this disaster, so uh, yeah. This one is called Ylang Song. So this has got Ylang Ylang oil in there, and it's really soothing and really calming for the skin. And a few of my friends actually went to Oxford Street a few months ago, and they actually brought this home for me because they knew I was really stressed and that I needed something really to relax me and this did the job, it was absolutely incredible so when I went back there I obviously had to get another one and it's even got a purple flower at the top and I absolutely love it it's kind of like a nan smell but a really nice nan smell if you know what I mean it's that really floral relaxing smell and if your grand doesn't smell like that then you need to get her a bath bomb this is Sacred Lotus and it smells of jasmine and it's meant to have like more of the claw things like a dragon foot that's what it kind of reminds me of it smells amazing i obviously love this so so much jasmine is one of my favorite smells and i'm so sad it's broken <laughs> i was so careful carrying it around london like if little kids came at me it's like holding the bag like get away from me it should look like a dragon foot because it's so like unique and quirky but I genuinely can't wait to use this. So I also got another bath bomb called Golden Slumbers and Golden Slumbers is really relaxing and really calming. It's actually used in one of our spa treatments. It is super super calming. It smells absolutely delicious and this is one of the ones that I've never smelt before and I honestly I'm not over how good it smells. It's absolutely delicious and I can't really put my finger on what it smells like. I should know what's in there but I don't. I'm not even gonna lie. If you guys want something quite relaxing, quite cool and delicious smelling, I definitely recommend this. I'm so excited to try this out, but I will let you know how it goes after I have my bath. As well as the pink fun, I also got gold fun. Gold fun smells like butterball, which is one of our really, really lovely bath bombs that's got cocoa butter in there, and it does smell like chocolate and it honestly is good enough to eat and it's got plastic free glitter in there I don't know if you can see it's lovely it's honestly incredible and again you can wash your clothes with it your hair your body your dog you can play with it like play-doh and it you can just literally make bubbles with it it's honestly such a really lovely soothing one to use and I'm so 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 excited to use this to make bubbles because it smells absolutely delicious. I'm excited to play with the bath play I actually got a fresh face mask from Lush Oxford Street and I'm just gonna go and get that because it's in my fridge. So I'll just be two seconds. Okay, I'm back, <laughs> obviously. The fresh face mask that I got was something that we don't actually get in regular stores, in local stores. And it's actually called Prince of Darkness. The description on it says, we're on a crazy train heading for the scrubbed up skin with charcoal and sea salt packed into this mask. It's basically a lot like our facial soap called Coal Face and it's really good for oily skin. Sea salt's very soothing and softening for the skin also. So I'm assuming this is gonna get all my blackheads and all my stress spots and just suck up any excess oil that this heat, that this summer heat has created because my God, it is warm. Oh, that smells incredible. Wow, I haven't actually smelled this. Well, that smells good. Wow. Yeah. So that's what it actually looks like. I'm gonna actually read what's in there. So it's got patchouli oil and lavender oil in there. And that's what's giving it that really quite unique, delicious smell. And I'm not really a patchouli or lavender fan. I'm really into this. Like, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna use this tonight. I can't wait. One of the last things that I got was two bath melts and bath oils, whatever you guys want to call it. And it's called Shark Infested Custard. So they actually, for some reason, wrap them up in greaseproof paper, which I guess is a good idea, but it makes it harder for me to show. I absolutely love custard and vanilla, so any sweet smells, I'm in. And honestly, I've tried this before and it's so, so good. And I cannot wait to lob them in the bath. <laughs> they actually wrapped mine like a sweet. There you go. 
it's not meant to look like that. It's meant to be in a really round circle and it's also got like vanilla pods and it looks like the shark, you know, when the shark's there like... <laughs> But nonetheless, it's going to be absolutely incredible and oh, my fingers smell like vanilla and custard. Uh, my mum also got me Fur's perfume. As well as the orange flower, my mum actually got me that as well. Can I say bitches love me? It smells a lot like our coconut hand scrub and R&B hair moisturiser. I couldn't think of that. <laughs> my friend Jade, who I spoke about in my Retrofest video, bringing up Retrofest a lot these days. Um, actually has this and she smells like this constantly and I absolutely love it and she let me wear some the other day and I was like Gwen Squirt would probably be enough it's a really fresh quite citrusy very um, coconutty smell and it's honestly lovely so my mum just came home and then she just left so uh, yeah anyway I'm gonna carry on <laughs> So the last thing I do want to show you guys is something that you can get from Oxford Street. Although I didn't get it from Oxford Street when I went there. I actually got it online. Lush have started doing something called mouthwash tabs. They actually go with our toothy tabs, which offer an alternative to actual toothpaste. And they don't have any fluoride in there, so um, it's just offering a little bit of an alternative really. So I actually got these. They are very, very minty. It's like a solid version of Mask of Mag, my fave. To work these, you pop one into your mouth, you start chewing, and then you take a sip of water. I do know that a few people have actually crushed it up and put it in the water, like in a tiny little shot glass, and used it like that. So I guess you guys can use it however you want to. It doesn't have a warning to say not to swallow, so, but I wouldn't recommend it. So just remember it is a mouthwash and just treat it like a mouthwash as well. So yeah, that was my Lush Oxford Street haul. And honestly, Oxford Street was really different. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a place where all Lush employees do aspire to go. And a lot of Lush fans, Lushies as they're called, they do flock to this one store. It was a good experience. However, they were lacking quite a lot. I ended up finding this really lovely lady by um, the fresh table which is where we keep all the fresh face masks. I asked her about the exclusives and she was like yeah the bath bombs are upstairs and I was like great but like I want some more I want more than just bath bombs you know I actually work at Lush so I know that there's more than just bath bombs here and um, she told me that they have Mask of Mag in a gigantic pot and Mask of Magnum Inti is one of my favourite things if not my favourite thing from Lush. So that was that. Um, she told me that they had exclusive soaps and I asked about the soap that we wanted which was the Rose Argan one and she was like yep it's there and nope it was not there. My mum and myself met this really lovely girl and she showed me all the exclusives, she tried to explain what they were and um, she was like, because you actually work at Lush, I'll let, you go, I'll let you wander and if you've got any questions about the exclusives or anything else, just let me know. And I really appreciated that because I don't want to be patronised by somebody else that's in my situation that has the same job title as me, you know? And I was like, yeah, okay, thank you so much. Well, and um, she was really nice and she kept coming up to me, she was like, how are you finding things? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's great, thank you so much and um, she just basically pointed me in directions that I wanted to go in, she suggested a few things that I might like the smell of and yeah it was a, she was a really really nice person and I genuinely think that she was one of the highlights of me visiting that. I tried to find so many different things and basically I asked um, another member of staff because the girl that I'd previously spoken to she'd gone off with another customer uh, so I grabbed somebody else and I was like hey what's this and they were like oh it's not my section not my section in Lush we do have different sections but in local Lushes we learn about every single product in every single section but apparently in Oxford Street you have you get assigned a section for about a month or so and you just learn about those products so 
be you on bath bombs you'll know everything about bath bombs if somebody asks you about shower or hair care I don't know I guess you don't know about that there are a lot of people there which gave me a little bit of anxiety and it was getting very very warm in the shop the aircon wasn't on and yeah it was pretty much overwhelming also my god they are so slow with the tails like geez like I thought when I first started in Lush, and I still think I'm quite slow now, everything to be perfect, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to put a wrong product through the till and make the customer pay more than they have to, or less than they have to, but they were just taking forever. Literally what I showed you, they took forever to do it. Lush Oxford Street is really good for their products, and a lot of people do say that their customer experience is a lot better than their customer service. And at the end of the day, I think customer experience and customer service go hand in hand. You can't just prioritise one and not the other. But overall, I did really enjoy my experience there. I did really enjoy the products that I've got and I'm really excited to try them. And I'm obviously looking forward to trying my rust shaded lipstick. Look at it, it's gross. If you guys have been to Lush Oxford Street, let me know down below in the comments. And tell me if you've tried any of the products I've tried or if I go back there again, tell me what I should try because I'm so looking forward to trying literally everything and my bank account probably hates me. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe. And before I go guys, I've actually got friends that have an art page on Facebook and they are so, so incredible. I'll leave some pictures floating all around me so you can have a look. And I'm gonna leave their Facebook link down below. They're called Chai Fairy Art, and honestly, they're incredible. They did a portrait for me because my great-granddad unfortunately passed away over the weekend. They wanted to make me feel special and to do something really lovely for me. And honestly, it made my day. It was so beautiful. And they do commissions, so it's really great. And until next time, guys, bye. Thank you.